Oh, here it goes. Oh, here it goes. It's hot news time. Hey, everybody, how you doing? Let's talk about the delicious news that we got going on today, which is uh, more AMD graphics card news. We've been wanting Navi to come out for ages. We've been waiting for the successor to Polaris and to Vega. And my friends, finally, finally, we have some news about the RX 600 series, except for Crap, man. Crap. Apparently, it's just a rebadge. Gosh dang it, AMD, why you gotta do us like this? Huh? Well, apparently, one of the speculated reasons of us getting an RX 600 series is so that AMD will be able to differentiate between the lower level crap and the actual Navi stuff and the call it the RX 3000 series, which is the what we've been hearing the rumors about for Navi, but the RX 600 series is just the mediocre nonsense that nobody actually wants because what Navi's supposed to replace this? I'm so confused. So apparently the leaked RX 640 is supposed to be a replacement or a rebadge rather of the RX 550X, which in case you don't remember, the 550X is exactly the same as an RX 550. The X is just tacked onto the name because OEMs needed a rebadge to sell a new generation of OEM computers using AMD GPUs. So it's a rebadge of a rebadge of a architecture that was basically just rebadged from the 400 series, except for the 550 didn't exist, or the 450 didn't exist because it was only went down to the 460. So yeah, good job. <laughs> wow, this is like the third generation, fourth generation of the 550X. It's supposed to have 640 stream processors, 32 TMUs, 16 ROPs, and two gigabytes of GDDR5 across 128-bit wide memory bus. <sighs> Dang it, AMD. The fact that they're dropping it a generation could be a good thing, or not a generation, but a level. So instead of it being the 50 series, it's now the 40 series, which would we would then expect that the 50 series of the RX 600 would be faster than the 50 series of the previous one. But we have no indication of what the RX 650 might actually be. We just got a 640. I'm so sad. But apparently the 540X is supposed to become the RX 630 and everything else in my life is just gonna continue to be a disappointment just like that. But let's talk about something else that could be viewed as a great thing or a disappointment, depending on how you're looking at it, because we have our first look at a brand new X570 motherboard. It appears that it is the Biostar version of this board, the Biostar Racing X570, and there's some cool, interesting things that we can learn about it, considering the fact that it looks like a normal motherboard, except for the fan over the chipset, which is kind of interesting, because that hasn't been done in quite some time, because chipsets have typically run cool enough that you could just passively dissipate the heat with a heat sink right on it. But apparently, at least according to the video that Buildzoid did on it, what he's been hearing through the pipeline is that uh, the X570 runs hot, especially if you use M.2 drives and you actually need a fan. <laughs> But the issue that's gonna come in with that is apparently some of the motherboard manufacturers are gonna be releasing such low-end X570 boards that they're not gonna put a fan on there because it's too expensive and thereby they'll actually have a thermal throttling chipset for the first time in ages so that if you use NVMe drives on the, on the M.2 slots, you'll actually experience throttling through the chipset. Fantastic, I'm so glad these cost cutting measures are there. Apparently X570 just drawing a lot of power. There's nothing super special about the VRM on this motherboard. There's nothing amazing about a whole bunch of stuff that's going on with the X570 GT8, but it does give us a pretty good look at the X570 cooling fan, which we're anticipating is going to go on the medium to higher range X570 boards. And again, this is supposed to support the 12 and 16 core motherboards that we're anticipating AMD is going to announce at Computex in just under two weeks. And speaking of AMD's Computex announcement, it has been confirmed by the company that they are going to be live streaming it on AMD's YouTube channel, but also we'll be live streaming it as well on our YouTube channel, giving live commentary about what's happening there, because we'll be live at Computex with all of that. So be sure to subscribe to UFD Tech for that, because we're not going to be doing it here on the Hot News channel. But of course, you should know that we will do a video about it here on Hot News. Anyways, that's yes check subscribe for that and then the last little bit of amd news is that unfortunately the mantle api is dead zo 
it's dead to AMD with the latest driver update of Radeon software Adrenaline 19.51. AMD has officially dropped support for Mantle and that's it. Mantle is officially dead. Its memory will live on through some sort of ghost issue thing. I don't know how paranormal stuff works with software, but it's gonna live on through Vulcan and hopefully Mantle will come back to haunt us in the near future so that we will never forget it in our hearts. But you know what I wanna forget immediately because this is the dumbest use to, we, we did a video on this. We did a video about how it was supposed to be coming out and it's the dumbest thing because laptops are already foldable. You don't need a foldable laptop. But apparently Lenovo's just like, you know what our ThinkPad could use? The ability to fold. Guess what? It had it already, but they included a foldable laptop, which has a screen on the bottom and a screen on the top, and you smush them together to make a foldable laptop. I'm just, I don't understand the point behind this. Foldable phones, I can understand to some extent. It makes slightly a bit of sense. You get a phone and a tablet experience all in one, but this, you get an inferior touch screen to type on as opposed to an actual keyboard, and it closes just like a normal laptop. It's a dual screen laptop. That's just called a tablet. They're using it like a tablet in some of the promo images. This is the dumbest thing I have ever seen and I hate foldable laptops more than I hate the ending to a show that everybody hates the ending to. Give me one. <laughs> I hate this more than the new Game of Thrones season. You liar! Okay, but let's talk about something serious that I could rage about, but I'm not going to because it's that serious. WhatsApp apparently has a major exploit in its security, which allows people to install spyware on your phone just by calling it. You do not have to answer the phone and they can still install the spyware on it. Apparently, WhatsApp and Israeli software developer NSO Group have confirmed that there is an exploit in their voice calling that allows attackers to load NSO's Pegasus spyware on both Android and iOS devices. So WhatsApp is like just borked from the ground up. And apparently it's a bad thing because like even if you don't interact with your device, then you have their software spyware installed on your phone and that's, that's terrible. This is worse than the, what was it, the uh, FaceTime bug that allowed you to hear what people were saying. This one allows you to install spyware. Bad. So the flaws should be fixed by WhatsApp at this point, but if you use WhatsApp, WhatsApp, WhatsApp? On your phone, make sure to update it right now so that you no longer have the vulnerability because now that it's out in the open, obviously people can develop for it and just make sure you update your grandma's phone as well and your mom and your dad's. If you're tech support for your family, make sure they update their WhatsApp so that they don't get wrecked by this spyware. But speaking of wrecking things, Amazon likes to wreck jobs because they have announced that they are testing robots to pack and fulfill orders in their warehouses as opposed to, you know, using humans. So they're anticipating that at least according to how Amazon is using these robots, it could lead to the loss of 1300 jobs because of robots will now effectively pack and manage all of the shipments that will go out. Probably not all of them. They're still going to need to uh, replace a few, but apparently these machines can do six to 700 boxes per hour, which is about five times more than the average human. But the machines are sold for a million dollars and it would take Amazon about two years to recover those costs. So it's a bit of a uh, investment, you know, as long as the machines don't uprise before they make their money back. Mr. Five, Mr. Five, tell us how you feel. How do I feel? I feel alive. Speaking of making your money back, Apex Legends, bad segue. Anyways, they have implemented a protocol where they're gonna start banning people who are just piggybacking wins off of their friends. Yes, my friends, there's no ELO, ELO boosting happening in Apex Legends. EA says nay. Uh, what's the, Respawn says nay, it's over, okay? You who has friends that are actually good at the game, you gotta start playing with your own pleb noobs, okay? Everybody that's in your level, not these people, not your good friends, you understand? And you know what else you need to understand? Bitcoin, Bitcoin is, is coming back, I'm looking it up right now, yeah. So in five days, Bitcoin has gone from under $6,000 to now, as of the time of filming, $8,055. It's gone up whole, whole 33% in just five days. That is a massive increase. Crypto is back. You better sell all of your Bitcoin now so I can buy it cheap. <laughs> Bye.
but this could also lead to the crypto market picking back up and mining cards being coming a thing again. And I know that when we covered this previously in a hot news little clip, somebody said in the comments that Bitcoin pricing doesn't relate to mining of video cards because you can't mine Bitcoin with video cards. And I know that. However, the issue is that altcoin value is pretty much like a, a, a direct correlation to what the price of Bitcoin is. So if Bitcoins are going up, altcoins are going up, which means altcoins are more profitable in mine, which means video cards will be more profitable in mining things in the days to come. So yeah, I mean, everything just kind of follows Bitcoin. So you know what? Start hoarding those GPUs now, my friends. Okay, if you have some that you wanted to sell, maybe, 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 maybe wait and then sell it for a little bit more. I don't know. But don't listen to me, I'm not a financial advisor. Ah, so that's the end of hot news. Bitcoin mining returning possibly. That's a sad note to end on. My friends, if you want to support hot news or the UFD Tech channel, you can do so directly at patreon.com forward slash UFD Tech. Or if you want some of these dope floating metal prints that we have behind us, you can check them out at displate.com forward slash UFD Tech official. And if you're looking to buy some of the ones, especially the ones that we might have in our collection, you can use the coupon coupon code wow the coupon code ufd to save 15 percent off your purchase anyways i'm gonna wrap up hot news there hit the like button if you enjoyed it get subscribed stay up to date on all of our hot news not news <laughs> rumor stuff i'm brett with the hot news channel love you too bye